Religious leaders in Oshun State have promised to advise their followers who are yet to get their permanent voters card to do so before the end of tomorrow's uh, before tomorrow's deadline. They have also assured INEC that they will use their sermons to encourage all citizens on the need to cast their votes in the coming elections. Rafiu Hamid has more. It's a forum for strategic dialogue ahead of the 2023 election between selected Christian and Muslim religious leaders with the Oshun State Resident Electoral Commissioner. The event, which lasted for hours, provided participants the opportunity to ask questions on how to ensure the credibility of the election. The State Resident Electoral Commissioner provides answers to all the issues raised. No campaign should engender violence. No campaign should instigate, you know, gangsterism. People should tell the masses, the voters, the electorate, what they want to do. And I want to warn that security agencies are there on the lookout for any individual or group that want to make the environment, un you know, unpeaceful. Let all of us comport ourselves. Representatives of both faith appeal to the electorate, particularly the youths, to perform their civic rights and avoid being used to cause violence. Don't sell your future for a token of 5,000, 10,000, even, even 100,000. It's still a token. Keep it on the day of voting. Go on the day of election. Go out and vote. Make sure you do all your best to encourage other people to, to do the same. Go out, go and collect your PVC. The day of election, go out, cast your vote, then discharge your duty and then go back. Don't cause any wahala, don't cause problem. As part of efforts to ensure adequate sensitization, the resident electoral commissioner had paid a courtesy visit on the attack of Oshobo, Obajimo Laonipekun, in his palace. INEC refuses to talk. No message from INEC, no engagement from INEC, no advocacy. A, a fake news will thrive. But if INEC is talking, INEC is making information available. Of course, the spread, the owner of the fake news will carry his bag and go to his village, uh, you know. So, but for us, in Oshun State, it's a different ball game. We are going to engage, we are going to re-engage, we are going to over-engage so that people will know that what you are saying is constant, is real and factual. Dr. Mutu Abuki promised continued enlightenment ahead of the poll. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Oshobo.